Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy here. This is the second video of a short series where we explore together different shortcuts available for you to program faster using RevoDK. Same as last time, there won't be any trick here that will make you save several minutes at a time, but saving a few seconds, dozen, if not hundreds of time a day, really add up at the end. Today, let's take a look at the F keys. These F keys are there for a reason. We better take advantage of it. And RoboDK does take advantage of 10 out of the 12 available. Let's start with F1. Same as in Windows, this F key will bring up the online documentation. You should really take a look at it if you haven't done it so far. I highly recommend the general tip and robot tips sections. Okay. Next, we have F2. This one will let you rename an item in your station tree. It has the same behavior as right click rename. I can't remember the last time I didn't use F2 to rename an item. Bonus added, this also works with Windows. The more you know. We then have F3. This will bring up the option panel. So robot panel, tool panel, or target panel. It's not very useful for the robot or tool panel as simply double clicking on the robot or on the tool will do the exact same job, but it's very useful for a target as clicking on the target will bring the robot to this position instead of opening the target panel. So very nice. F4, this one is also related to the target. It will bring the configuration panel. This way you can keep the same Cartesian position, but change the robot configuration without opening the robot panel. Once you choose a config, simply right click the target and teach current position to record the configuration. F5 has two functions. First one is preview target. Select the target, press F5, then move the robot to another location. This will leave a ghost robot at the location of the first target. This way you can compare both targets. You can do the same with multiple targets at a time. The second function is a bit more useful if you ask me. It will verify the validity of a program, making sure there is no singularity, joint limits or reach limits issues in that program. A message will tell you so at the end of the check. It's faster, especially for bigger program, than simulating the whole program. F6 will generate the real robot program. You might have noticed a pattern here. The keyboard shortcuts are almost always written on the side of the function. So even if you don't remember them all at the end of the video, you can always look them up while using the feature. F7 is another one that I'm using all the time. So it's switch the visibility of an object or a path. So you can select one or many objects and make them invisible and visible once again. Same if I select a program, the yellow path will appear or disappear if I press F7. F8 is similar to F6, but instead of generating the program, it will send it to the robot. You need to have a connection established though. And if you don't know how to do that, maybe pressing F1 to reach the documentation would be a great idea. F9 and F10 have no shortcut associated with for the moment. I'll keep you up to date if it changes. F11 and F12 are pretty similar. F11 will bring RoboDK on top of the Windows bar, and you can press it again to go back to normal, and F12 will make the station full screen. Removing the toolbar, Windows toolbar, and just keeping the 3D environment and the tree. Same as F11, simply press it again to go back to normal. Okay, that's everything for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date on the latest feature of RoboDK. Have a great day, guys.